Welcome back to the Feast Studio. Today I'm working on Feast Wars Vet. This sculpture was created using the beta platform. The first step is to get each file ready to print. I'm using AirDrop to transfer files between both devices. It's a game changer. Now let's add supports. I'm also hollowing the large pieces to prevent them from failing. Now we can load them onto a USB stick and plug them into a printer. Four hours later and we have successful prints. We can now wash the excess resin off and remove these supports. I'm using isopropyl alcohol and the ultrasonic cleaner. This helps by agitating any resin. Scrub each print until it's no longer sticky. Typically I start sanding with a 220 grit paper and move to 320. When using the X-Acto blade, be careful. There's been many times where I've almost taken a finger off. I'm using these sanding sponges that help gently remove any of these print lines. And it fits. It fits nicely. This is going to look good. Now we can spray some primer and get these ready to paint. Now we can lay down the first base coat. I'm using this green that I mix up myself. The airbrush is a tool that I'm enjoying lately. It's taken some time to adjust to. If there's any of you that have been struggling using the airbrush, let me know in the comment section. It's something that I want to cover.
And of course, my favorite part, painting with my brushes. I'm using an assortment of Trakal brushes. I've been using them for probably over eight years now. For all the black areas, I'm using this really cool matte paint called So Flat. It's by Golden Paints. If you're looking for a strong matte paint, I highly suggest you check this one out. I find that painting yellow has been really challenging, especially with a black base. So it takes a few times to really build up and get that color I'm looking for. 